Hey guys, this is Josh from joshmcdonald.net. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can look back in time and get the past content that was on a website. So let's say there was a news article and it got taken down. You want to find that news article. Or if you bought a new website and you want to check what kind of content used to be on it. Or if you bought a new domain name and you want to recover the old content. Uh, this is how you do it. So let's use, we're going to use my website for example. I want to see what was on my website before this. So let's head over to just Google Wayback Machine. It's done by archive.org. It's a nonprofit. The direct URL is archive.org forward slash web. <clears throat> okay, and then we're just going to copy the website address, pop it in there, browse history. Now, it may or may not come up with um, archives. See, there's a lot of archives on my website. If, if, it, if it's a new domain name or a new page that hasn't been saved yet you can just pop it in this text box below and it'll save it for you you can look back on it whenever okay so you can see every vertical black line is a date that has been saved so you can see it's almost entirely black here um, so it's been saved quite a bit so let's go back 2011 February 20th 2011 let's see and this is it this is how the website started Let's go back to the very first date. You can just click on the black bars, and then here it is. This is how the website looked way back in 2010. This was my website, Josh McDonald Designs. Um, you know, so then you know if I need an article, let's see, I should be able to click on one of these here. Yeah. So let's go to one of these pages. This one has some content. So for example. If I wanted the content, if I wanted to bring it back to a new version of the website, I would simply just copy this, right, and then you know paste it on the new website uh, five years later. So let's go back and just go through. You can you can watch the website develop over time, um, and it's kind of interesting if you go to your if you have a website you've had for a few years. Um, but this is mostly useful if you're restoring content um, from an expired domain name. You know, you see here it changes. You can copy this article and put it on the new website, um, and bring back all the old content and restore it. Anyways, that's how to use the Wayback Machine. It's very, very simple, and I hope you learned something in this video.